Hi there, I'm Dr. John Carrasso, Executive Director of the Autism Center of Pittsburgh. Welcome to Dr. C's Morning Minute, and I'm glad you're here. Today I'll be talking about Applied Behavioral Analysis, or ABA. Okay, for starters, it's important to know that ABA is not a treatment modality per se. Rather, it's a set of principles and ideas that govern the application of a host of other treatment modalities. Positive reinforcement, something you've all heard of, is an element of ABA. For example, it's the idea that if I give a small piece of cookie to a child immediately after the child responds correctly to my direction, thereafter the child is more likely to again respond correctly to that specific direction. Of course in ABA, the reinforcement protocols become far more complex and a lot of other fancy terms are incorporated including extinction, punishment, experimentation, classical conditioning, and, and, and antecedents, all of which is used to modify behavior, hopefully, for the betterment of the child. A host of interventions are based in ABA, including discrete trial therapy and verbal behavior, among others. ABA is most often used in the treatment of children with autism and developmental disorders. But keep in mind that you've been using components of ABA every time you hug your child after they successfully complete a challenging task or ignore your child's tantruming. Now, I hope that helps to clarify ABA, what it is and what it's not. By the way, if you have any questions about ABA, feel, feel free to email me at drc at autismcenterpittsburgh.com. I have a graduate certificate in ABA from Penn State and would be happy to provide more information or answer anything more specific. Next time on Dr. C's Morning Minute, I'll be talking about one of the most common treatment approaches reliant upon ABA, discrete trial therapy. Thanks for joining me today at Dr. C's Morning Minute. Hope to see you next time.